SEMCOG's Water Resources Plan outlines policies and actions related to our blue economy, our natural resources, and our infrastructure in the region. One of the main priorities associated with drinking water was to strengthen drinking water intake monitoring programs. SEMCOG has received money from the state of Michigan to purchase and install monitoring equipment uh, at each of the 14 drinking water treatment plants along the Huron to Erie Corridor. This will allow water treatment plant operators to improve coordination and communication and real-time data monitoring so that they can respond accordingly if there's a spill in the waterways. The equipment has really helped us out. It, it gives us you know, plenty of time and warning when the water quality changes so we can prepare for it to make whatever chemical changes or adjustments to the treatment process that are needed. Rather than you know, being behind the eight ball, we're gonna be able to get ahead of it. I'm holding the YSI XO2 sonde, and these sensors are what is providing indication of changes in the water quality to the uh, operators. The Huron to Erie corridor includes Lake Huron, St. Clair River, Lake St. Clair, Detroit River, and Lake Erie. It's a major international water resource that provides recreational access, uh, economic opportunities and is a source of our drinking water for the majority of our region's four and a half million population. If there was a spill along the corridor, say a freighter accident or some other oil spill, what happens is, is there's a network of people that respond to the spill and there are notifications that are put out to the communities including the drinking water operators. This program will allow the drinking water operators to not only potentially detect if that spill is hitting their intakes, but also notify each other so that as that spill travels downstream before it's cleaned up, other operators are notified and can react appropriately by potentially shutting down their intakes. Wayne State University has been a partner on this project from the beginning with their Healthy Urban Waters Initiative, and that initiative aims to connect community and economics with water and the ecosystem. The data that's collected with the Drinking Water Monitoring Network is used immediately by the operators to understand what's coming in through their intakes, are there contaminants, how should they appropriately treat the water before they distribute it to their residents. But the data will also be available on the Wayne State University website where everyone will have access so they can monitor how water changes over time in the region. I think it's important for people to realize that the primary responsibility of drinking water operators and drinking water treatment facilities is to protect public health. You know, we're providing drinking water to the entire region's population. By monitoring the source water entering our drinking water treatment plants, the risks associated with potential spills or other accidents along the corridor is significantly reduced, thereby vastly improving our opportunities to protect public health.